Hey everyone, my name's Xavier, and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. This time we're playing the DLC called Seed of Evil. It comes out today. Now, fair warning, very, very much spoilers ahead for those of you who haven't seen the original game or played all the way through or uh, watched my series on it from last December. I think it took about 23 episodes to get all the way through the full campaign. If you're interested, I'll put a card up in the uh, corner right now. But we're going to continue on here into new territory. There is a new Moose Companion you can see in the background. I'm very excited to pick him up. He actually just looks right. I think his name is Khan. Khan the Moose. God, that's going to be exciting. Now, for those of you who have no idea what this game is, it is a tactical game that combines the turn-based combat of XCOM with real-time stealth and exploration of a post-human world reclaimed by nature and mutants. Now, I do have one free key for the base game that I can give away. If you guys uh, are interested and you don't already have the game, type a comment down below and make sure you have the word key in it, K-E-Y. I'll just do a search for all the comments with the word key and I'll random them up uh, a winner in a couple of days and send you a message to let you know. Uh, additionally, if you guys don't already have the base game, you can pick up the base game and the DLC uh, using my code XWINS directly from Funcom for 10% off if you use the code. And additionally, that helps to support the channel. Very much appreciate that. You do get a Steam key, so it's like a normal thing. For those of you who just want the expansion or are you interested in that, there's links down below uh, for Humble and also GOG. And otherwise, let's just jump right into the campaign right where we left off. Woo, this is where we had discovered right at the end that there was more different kinds of mutants. You can see down here, this guy kind of looks like a moose. Hmm. Well, what do you know? It's almost like they planned to have a moose DLC, right? Let's hit the map here, and let's go to the new territory up here in the northwest. Looks like it was taped on, <laughs> literally, just taped on with a paperclip. Paperclip points right to it. I love that. Uh, Mausoleum of Suburbia. Begin Seed of Evil DLC and travel. Yes. After learning that the Stalkers had entered Eden, the Elder mysteriously wandered off into the zone. Two months of searching later, the Stalkers discover his location. One, we rescued Hammond. Two, we kicked the bad guy's asses. Why are we freezing our butts off chasing some old loony? We should be back at the Ark getting a little hero treatment. Our victory parade will have to wait. Let's fetch him back before he gets himself killed out there. The truth? That we're all his science projects? Nah, thanks. Let him run. We don't need him. Tell that to the Ark. It's chaos back there. We'll drag the Elder back, force him to make things right. And keep taking his orders? You're all grown up and able to think for yourself, aren't you? Enough chit-chat. Let's go find the Elder. Ooh, it's been a little while. Now, one of the things I remember reading about the new DLC is that there's a few new abilities here. Let's go check them out, the mutations. So we used to have, or no, we currently have Hog Rush. You can see here in orange on the top left. This can destroy covers, knocks out enemies for two turns. It upgrades to Bear Smash for three points. We have eight left over from the last, uh, last campaign. Knocks back enemies five tiles. Knocks out enemies for two turns. Interestingly enough, doesn't sound like it can destroy cover. Hmm. So it does the same knockout for two turns and knocks back enemies five tiles. Maybe they can smash into each other. Maybe it still destroys cover. I'm assuming it's an upgrade. Let's buy it. Another one over here. We used to have Corpse Eater, which just eats organic corpses to restore hit points. It now upgrades to Corpse Feaster. See what they see what they did there? Feaster eater, it's like almost the same thing. Amazing. Eat organic corpses to restore hit point without using a turn. Okay, well, we have everything else on Borman, we may as well buy it. But I'm not currently equipped to use that. I think I'm gonna play with uh Bear Smash for a little while. Let's see what Ducks gets. Ducks used to have moth wings, which allows you to fly. Now he has wings of the sniper. Allows you to fly and removes the range penalty. Wow. That's uh, pretty strong. Really strong. I'm going to have to think about the attachments I had put on because I may have put something on 
to reduce the range penalty there. Looks like I didn't. Maybe on Pharaoh I did that? Nope. No such luck. Hmm. Okay, well, just something to keep in mind. I know there's items or potentially attachments that reduce your range penalty. So, uh, for Pharaoh, let's see what she has for mutations over here. Same thing. Moth wings. And she has the corpse feaster. So, let's upgrade her to moth wings because I know I have it equipped here. And that'll be good enough, I think, to start off our initial fighting. Now, in the last uh, series, I didn't really edit much at all. This one, I'm going to do quite a bit of editing. So, when I'm just wandering around the map, if I see something cool, I'll stop and show it. But for just basically looking at the generic buildings and gathering scrap, that's a little boring. Elder or no elder. The arts <laughs> Thanks, Borderman. And at the same time, this way it'll help me to focus and actually see all of the loot. So I don't get 9 million comments telling me I've missed 8 billion pieces of loot. Because I was too busy trying to think of something to say. Uh, rather than actually paying attention to the map here. So when I find something, I'll let you guys know. I hope you guys appreciate the tighter editing this time around. Oh, never mind. About three seconds later, we have found something. It didn't take very long, huh? Now, left click shuts the light off and goes into stealth mode. I think right click is how you hide behind stuff. Let's see what we have over here. Let's split up. Right here. And let's look around. I see three. Oh, pod burner. Level 65. Pod wolf. Looks like three of those guys. I'm guessing the wolves will charge. At which point, Borman can knock him down. Let's check his mutations. Knocks back enemies. Enemies. Maybe before it was only one enemy, and now it's multiple. Interesting. So if that's the idea, Borman hides up there. Here's my thinking. Borman takes out the hounds. Well, we have Pharaoh and Ducks come over here and take out the pod burner. I was hoping to get elevation in there, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. We can probably do it from, like, this location right here. Okay, Borman's in position to do the rush. Let's start off... Um, you know what? Pharaoh has that AoE ability. Let's start off with ducks, then. He'll do our ambushing. Here's how we're going to go. I suppose just straight into him with the big and gun. 100% to hit, 60 to crit. We could fly for more. I'm not feeling like we really need to. We're going to activate everything here anyway, so there's no sense in trying to do this stealthily. Just guns a-blazing, boys. Woo! I forgot how much I enjoy this game. It feels visceral, is how it feels. Okay, let's take a single... We have four ammo over here on the Elysium LR678. I'm just thinking the Gunslinger, we could use three of those to shoot the Hounds. That's a 75. Here's a question. Crossbow, 100. All right, let's do that. I am the beautiful weapon. <laughs> sweet. You wasted him. That was pretty sweet. Now, my guess is the Hounds are going to come over here. I don't think they're going to be able to attack us. And I think if we hide, they won't be able to... Well, the first one might see us, and the second one might be able to attack us. I'm going to ignore. Let's see what they do. Interestingly, they did nothing. Whoops. Apparently, right-click moves you. I did not realize that. Another thing we could do is just throw out a Molotov to light these things on fire. I think I'm going to actually go for that one and see what happens. I really expected them to move towards me on the first turn. Meanwhile, Dux doesn't have a huge amount of stuff to do. We'll reload with a three. And yeah, hundred percent. Sure, Dux, sure. Yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? And Borman's still sitting here. Let's just ignore and see what the guys do. Huh. Have to say, I'm a little bit confused, boys. I'm the hero. You're the zero. The light's giving us an extra 25% chance to hit them. Beautiful. Gotcha. 
God, we shot the loot bag right out of him. There we go. I don't know why they weren't moving the first few turns. But now they finally are. All right. It's time to get Bowman in here, boys. Is it time for a smash and bash? I think the answer is 100%. Maybe actually no. Let's come over here because this guy probably won't be able to get to us. So say right there. Good job, Borman. Give him a bit of the old twitch shot. Ooh, 75%. We're not going to increase those odds any other way, I don't think. Oh! What? Enough. Cleanly done. Yes! Cleanly done! Wow. Okay. I was not expecting Borneman to just outright murder it. Okay, we'll just fall back over here and go into Overwatch, which is a five. It's been a while since I've used these commands, so I'll get I'll get more fluent with them pretty soon. Same deal over here on Ducks. Overwatch. He'll Overwatch with the pistol because his main was out of ammo. The sniper rifle only has one shot. Now I don't think this thing can hit Borneman. Maybe. Oh, little Ducks! Look at him. Whew. Never mind. I was wrong. He can actually get over there. Okay. Alright, well, not a big challenge, but at the same time, it's only the first time we've fought in about eight months, so it's a good thing they're not going to start us right off into a crazy challenge. Alright, what do we get for loot? Let's see what's inside. Make Sweden great again. Four extra movement range. Wetter is immune to critical hits. I wonder what our moose is. Oh, God. Give me the moose, please. Cannot wait for the moose. I wonder if that's going to be something I put on him. There's a garage key for those of you who are interested. Whenever I find some kind of rare item like that, I'll point it out in case you're, like, looking for a walkthrough or trying to figure out what you missed or where it was. The garage key was right there by the table. Oh, 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 look at that huge robot. I thought it was real, but it's just an old corpse. This looks like a guy being attacked by one, two, three, four Hunoms. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look like we're going to have any real option to take one down with stealth, but... Pod jumper, pod... That's the Elder. Okay. Standing next to that Mimer machine. He's it's... got company. Looks like ghouls. Wonderful. Let's sneak in and say hi. Oh, wow. Look, there's guys in the distant background over there, too. Also, Mimer. Come on. If there's an opportunity to pronounce it Mimer, I think we all know how it's getting pronounced. Your hate, your anger, your fear, all of it will melt away. Join us. This old man doesn't listen to the lies of ghouls. Step closer so I can tear your tongue out. Join us or die. Okay, you know what? I was going to go be sneaky and kill the guy over there, and now I'm f I can see this loot here. I'll just go grab it because I know some of you are going to be super OCD about it. There's a guy over there as well, see? Mad kit. Uh, anyway, I'm feeling like we can just go hot here because watch this ambush that we're about to pull off here. We'll use Pharaoh. Yep, activate. We're going to go straight into Mothwings. Elevate Xion. Look at that shot. Let me just make sure we're in the right tile. Yep, right where we are. So when we land, we'll still have the cover of the car. 100 to hit. 100 to crit. Woo! All right, boys. Feast your eyes on this. Wow. Give up now. Go easy on ya. <laughs> oh, what a fun game. Pod rooter, pod jumper, pod burner, pod jumper. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what. I'm assuming the guys with jumpers jump, and the rooter, I'm guessing, roots, but I don't 100% know what they do. 
Okay, looks like Boromin's better charge can kill one of them, no problem. Then he'll be out there ready to tank. He's got decent armor. Uh, the other one, maybe we can kill with ducks. That's my best bet. Looks like 75. Yeah, but I don't like 75. I think we'll pass on, on XCOM odds, eh? If we get into Elevation, it'll be 100. Okay, ducks, that was a bit of an OCD way to go, but, you know, you do you, I suppose. Yes, I, I I expected the enemy to hit me. <laughs> uh, should we charge like a maniac? Over here, it's not going to quite kill him. Let's go for the rooter. Just just fun times with frigging hog smash, banner punch. Oh, you a grog. That was amazing. <laughs> right into the foot of the elder. He just he doesn't. He's immobile. Doesn't even react. Wow. Wow. I didn't see that second story. Uh oh. Ormond. Stupid stalkers. Yeah, that's the one thing about dashing into the open like a maniac. You're going to get yourself hit. So let's come over here to get into cover. And then Borneman should be able to just twitch shot this guy out of existence. Oh, yep. Oh, man, that was my shot. Out of range. So we're going to have to move a heck of a lot closer, and that's going to be a bit of a difficult thing, considering where we are. I guess we'll just uh, we'll dash over here, then. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's get ducks high cover. Beautiful. The right side of the car was low. The left side was high. Nice. The problem here is he has to reload this gun, so that's going to take an action point, or I could try the needle pistol. Nah. Nothing we can really do here. Let's just go back to the sniper and reload. Or, or actually, we could throw a smoke out, because we do have some, and this could cover both of us, maybe. But just Borman. I don't want to lose too much of his hit points, and smokes are fairly cheap. That way, this guy can't get a flank on us. Alright. Reload with the ducks. Now, if I remember correctly, going into flying actually does pull Overwatch. So we have to be very careful about how we're going to come out of this and what we're going to do precisely, because Bornman will get hit twice. Can't shoot through smoke in this game either. I think we're going to do the same thing. Move over here with ducks. Now we should be able to see around the corner. We'll just... Uh, you, I think smoke lasts two turns, if I remember correctly. Let's reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Come on, boys. What you going to do, huh? Okay, we're going to have to move Pharaoh, I think, to go for a flank. And just Overwatch again Overwatch. with ducks. Once that smoke's gone. Overwatch. Is that is that necessary? I, you, you couldn't. Oh, ducks! Woo! All right, boys. One of them is no longer on Overwatch. Neither of them are on Overwatch. If we get one kill, we can go bear smash. Let's see if there's a way we can do that. I had forgotten that the middle mouse button's how you rotate the camera. You got to hold it down. I was wondering if I could do that or not, but yeah, I definitely can. Looks like we'll have vision over here, but maybe we could fly once we get there. Let's go see how far we can move. Uh, once, oh, we can't shoot from here. Let's move over here to the Pharaoh. And then let's see if we can't, there it is. Oh, we got one shot. It's, I would prefer to go for the other one, but we just don't have the range. So right here, it looks pretty good. Ba -doo! 
If we could take this one down. Oh, Pharaoh. Zero. What a flank, boys. Oh, don't get it twisted, punk. What a flank. Now, what this does is open up Borderman to just charge in there like a maniac. Crash the boy into the ground. Assuming he has the range. Nope. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. That was a good plan. It just didn't quite work out. That's all. If we could bait this guy to come down to us. Let's move Borman over here. And Overwatch. Overwatch. Two Overwatches right in front of his face. He only has 18 health. It's not that bad. There it is. Ooh, Docs just blew up his own cover. Oh, okay. Never mind. Everything's fine, boys. Don't worry about it. Docs don't care about no cover. <laughs> that was... That could have been a horrific shot. I'll be entirely honest with you guys. Alright, nothing says fun like sniper gun to the face, which is out of ammo, so we'll have to use our memer. Oh! You can do that? That was amazing. Alright, well, that fight's over. Let's go see what the elder has to say. Sleep it off. Sweet takedown. All right, boys. Let's regroup. Uh, I think I'll start with... Dux is the more sarcastic. Borman's kind of a dopey boar. So who wants to talk to the Elder? Let's go with Dux. I'll see his personality a little bit more. My brave stalkers, you shouldn't be out here. Why are you out here? You got some balls, Ingmar. Lying to us our whole lives. We've been to Eden. We know where your frickin' experiments. Did this truth set you free, hmm? Erase your worries? No. It plagues your brains with questions you don't want answered. I told you not to go to Eden. You have no idea the events you set into motion. I must go now. Buy the Ark more time. Before it's too late. Enough with the lies. You're gonna step away from the damn machine with your hands up and tell us what the hell is going on. Is Borman a different voice actor? He sounds he sounds different. We didn't see the elder flick the switch. The steel door shuts him in the machine. Blue fire pummels the ground, blows me and ducks back. We rise from the dirt and look up. The machine screams up, up across the dirty sky. The scream fades to a distant rumble. The machine is gone, and the elders in space. Me and ducks stare at the sky. We don't say a word. The elder left us behind. He abandoned his people. Screw that liar. He told us the Ark was the last settlement surrounded by an endless wasteland, the Zone. But I've seen things in the Zone you wouldn't believe. Machine Man, a cult of psychotic brain mongers, a fox assassin. The Elder said Eden was a fairy tale. But we marched through its gates, discovered we were created there, discovered he was our creator. He betrayed us. He can suck it. Despite his lies, the Ark remains our home. And we risk our necks to protect it. We're stalkers. We explore the zone, scavenge for precious resources, keep the ghouls at bay. Soldiers with lifetimes of taking orders. Now, who's gonna give them? The Elder said you did this to us. The Elder said the fruits of the Wasteland were planted years ago by the seeds of your evil. Was he lying? When the ice melted, did you say something? When the plague spread, did you do something? Send me a message. Tell me I'm keeping humanity alive for a reason.
Hmm. Well, for those of you, apparently, who insist on having spoilers, now you're all caught up. So there you go. All right. Otterk Outskirts. So we're back here now. We get to see who's in charge. I think they showed the guy who runs the bar. That guy was kind of a... Uh... freaking fantastic What are we going to tell the Ark? Those people can't wipe their butts without the Elders. Wait. I got it. <laughs> we can say the ghouls ate him. I don't think those were ghouls. They were... I don't know. Something's weird here. What else is new? A ghoul is a ghoul. We got bigger fish to fry. Let's head back to the Ark. The flesh in the Ark will feed me for years. Make me grow now. The Ark like being outcasts. They will not join. They will fight and kill the fighters. Cleanse the rest. Spit spot. <laughs> Spit spot. All right. Uh, I can see a pod jumper on the roof. I can see this guy here. Pod rooter over there. I think we could take out this pod rooter because he's got 18 hit points. We could take him out silently, maybe. I hope he just moves a little bit further. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to try to go for an actual stealth takedown. Okay, he's far enough away that that guy's not going to see him through the wall. This is perfect. Come on, boys. So the way we're going to do it, swip over to the pistols, check the shots, 100% ducks. Oh, does that hurt? It looks like they have some kind of weird tree armor. Okay. Range, negative 25. We need to close the range. Let's move Borman up there. Beautiful. Yeah, they got some kind of roots or something on them. I'm not sure what it is. It's definitely different than it was before, that's for sure. Yeah, see, look, it's like like sticks and roots and like bark. You don't know who you're messing with. Well, that was fire awesome. beats tree, as they say. Okay, Ancient Scope. I think we had plenty of those from before. I'm curious how much damage we can do in a single burst. So the crossbow is six. Borman's does seven, and Dux's does seven. So we can do seven, seven, 14, plus six, 20. So anything that has tw 20 hit points or less, we can actually kill outright. Now, if I remember correctly, you can use Twitch Shot on the pistol, though. Is that right? Or is that not right? You can but it's going to be negative 25% accuracy, so even at close range, we're still going to have 75%. Oh, me. Which is not really reliable. So maybe we could kill the pod jumper if Borman lands both 75s, but the chances of that is 50-50. So maybe we could ambush the pod jumper. Oh, hello. Here's a huge in tank. Pod tank, level 65. Yeah, we're not taking him down with it. Oh, here we go. Pod burner! This is perfect, boys. So easy. Now it's getting fun. Oh. Woo, easy peasy. Enough. See if we can take the lead done. See if we can take this one over here on the left out. Hey, over here. No, he's... Well, if we want to use Twitch Shot, we could try it. Go to Bug. Pick up a note. Volt's Rumor, number one. After the accident, I can't chatter no more. So I need to... Uh, Family-friendly stream. I need to write things down. But listen up, friend. I have some spicy things for you. <laughs> Iridia... Okay, it's too family friendly, boys. It's too family friendly to read. Uh, if you guys want to read it, here you go. My God. 
Don't doesn't Funcom know I need to monetize this channel? Ooh, another pod burner. Let's go put some bullets in his brain because you know monetization doesn't care about that. Want some more? Gotcha. Mm, well, let's hope this doesn't get us uh, shot in the open over here. I think when he dies, it's going to be silent, but I'm not 100% sure. Say my name, Jizzwipe. It's Farrow. Oh! Bastard. Okay, yeah, he didn't hear, which is amazing. Now, let's see if we can do this. I want to try a Twitch shot silent takedown over here. May or may not work. We'll see basically like a 50 50. now if i wasn't um i could just use actually the bear smash to knock him down and then just absolutely wreck him i remember doing that i wanted to switch thinking about it now to the corpse eater and i completely forgot about it so Woo! that's a little bit more powerful than it used to be i will say let's try to be quiet right a beautiful weapon. Get some. Should have shot him first before I did this, because then he would already have been dead. That had to hurt. Oh, now he's gonna burn oh. to death. <laughs> Elder Almighty, you seeing what I'm seeing? Big tentacles curling up the arc support beams. What the? I don't think those are tentacles. They're plants. Huge frickin' plants. Oh, okay. I thought that was the end, but no, we do have to kill everything over here. Coming. There's the biggin' tank. If I remember correctly, ducks can actually shoot all the way across the map. His range is, like, fully kitted out. Uh, I can see two more enemies over there, and then the biggin' right there, so... Probably best is to take the big out when he comes back over here. And now that I'm thinking about and waiting for him, I'm actually going to switch Borman over for a free heal here. From Bear Smash to Corpse Feaster. So we can go eat one of these corpses when we fight the next two guys and basically get him back to full. I think if I go loud, I don't know if the other guys will hear me or not. We'll have to see. We'll fly for the hundred percent. Hundred hundred. I'm the hero. You're the zero. That's from me. All right, in the nugget, end on fire. Ugh. The enemy heard us, but no one's actually done anything yet, which is fine. The thing to do here, I think, is the knee shot. Oh. Oh yeah, the knee shot, so we can't move. We actually shot him in the knee! Guys, I think he used to be an adventurer, but I don't think he's going to be one anymore. I think Borderman might be able to take this guy down. Let's go find out. We'll move a little bit closer to the high cover, just in case these guys do activate and come over here. Let's try the twitch shot now. Because he's on fire, yeah, look, because he's on fire, we get plus 25% because he's in the light. And that negates our twitch shot negative 25, meaning we have 100%. That's crazy. And a 100% chance of knockback as well. Oh, the poor guy. The poor guy. All right, well, toodles, friends. Oh, stay down. Sweet takedown. He says to himself, oh, actually, that might have been ducks. Never mind. And these guys oh. did hear us because we went full loud there. Okay. All right. So I think we can now do Corpse Eater that doesn't end a turn. Let's try it over here and see. Yeah, according to this, we can actually move. Wow. So not only does this not end a turn, but I think you can actually move here first. Let's try it. This is the new Corpse Feaster. I forgot how disgusting that was. Yeah, and we still have both action points. That is actually incredible. I don't think we're going to get a chance to shoot the one over there, but what we can do is just move ducks up. Probably overwatch. With a pistol. 
is what else is he gonna do, right? 50-50, it's- I doubt that it's worth it. Overwatch. We can want to make this guy move by flanking both of them right here and have the high cover with Borman. And this guy's closer, so I suppose he makes the more sense. Boom. Oh! He just, like, double winked on his tree armor. And his chest is weird stuff. Overwatch. Oh, <laughs> he's out! <laughs> he just came from there. Huh. That is an interesting strategy. I'm pretty sure... Let's move ducks... Well, you know what? Let's check every tile to see if there's a line. There's not any line, so we should be able to move here without pulling Overwatch. Yep, beautiful. No chance to hit out of range. Okay. Problem is we need this gun, and we don't have the ammo, so there was no sense for me to go there. I should have reloaded first. See if we can't move over. I'm not sure if Bowman's gonna get shot here or not. Yeah, he is. It's alright, he can eat corpses. Oh, it's okay, he can eat corpses. <laughs> uh, we just need some corpses is all. Okay, because he's about to die. I thought the red line meant that ooh, they couldn't see us because of the high cover hitter, but I'm just too used to XCOM. That's all right. Blocked by smoke. Beautiful. We'll just reload then. Oh. Oh. Wow. None of them did anything. I guess we'll just set up for overwatches, because they're not going to have good chances to hit us. Overwatch. Yeah, blocked by smoke, no chance to hit. Overwatch. And this will buy Borman time to reload. Overwatch. Oh! Yes, Pharaoh. Who's he say? <laughs> he said that to himself. Oh, like I had the smoke, so ducks didn't get the shot there. All right. Well, I want to go out there and eat him, but he's on Overwatch, which is making things difficult. Move around the corner with ducks. See if he can pull the shot. Ooh, I was hoping he would miss, but alas, he didn't. That's too bad. Uh, what we're gonna do now, though, because the Overwatch is gone, is we can get Borman out here basically for free. We have a step out flank, and we have a corpse to eat for free. That's crazy powerful. <laughs> it's okay, Bor. I get it. Nice. And the, I completely forgot about the knockback. This means basically we win. Beautiful weapon. The heck is he looking? <laughs> Simply beautiful. Well, Dux is happy with our uh, result there. Ooh, I could have played that a little bit Get better. But I'm still getting used to it. You know, you play XCOM for 4,000 hours, and this is what happens. Speaking of, every Saturday, for those of you who are new to the channel, I stream XCOM Long War Rebalance. Uh, I worked on Longwater 1, Longwater 2, uh, 2,000 hours in both XCOM 1, another 2,000 XCOM 2, probably another 4,000 designing and balancing Longwater 1, 2, and Longwater Rebalance all together. So if you guys are interested, uh, there's a link in the description down below to my Twitch channel every Saturday. Not even 30 seconds in the Ark, and me and Ducks want to hop back out of it. Our home is under siege. Thick red vines are growing fast, turning the place into a blood-red jungle.
see dwellers hacking their friends out of vine cages. We hear screams about the end of the world. We greet friends, but they shuffle by us with lifeless eyes, not recognizing us. The Elder could tell us how to beat this, but he's gone now. And without him, the Ark's gone crazy. If things ain't strange enough, the Dwellers may prep the new Elder. When you put a bartender in charge, you're in trouble. Prip figured out the source of these vines. A man, Goran. He's a mutant with the power to control plants. Like Selma, but more powerful, more reckless. Once, Goran got into an argument with the Elder and attacked him. We threw Goran out of the Ark. He vanished into the zone, vowing revenge on us for spurning him. Now it seems his revenge has kicked into high gear. Prip heard rumors about Goran hiding out in some secret settlement north of here. Another Ark in the unexplored territories. He wants a team of stalkers to find this Ark and capture Goran before his vines squeeze the life out of us. This mission we accept, but me and Ducks can't do it alone. We need stalkers, the best of the best. Selma, Magnus, Barrow, let's do this. Alright, I think that's probably a good place uh, for episode El Numero Uno. I think I'm going to do probably a couple episodes today, because today's the launch day, then maybe one every day until the campaign's over. It's a $15 expansion, so I don't think it's going to be too long. My guess is, um, I don't know, 10 episodes at most? I'm really curious to get the moose, hopefully in the next episode. That's going to be fantastic. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. It helps out enormously on these first episodes of new series. If you still need the base game and you want to try out uh, your luck with getting a key, just leave a comment down below with the word key in it. I only have one key to give away, but I will give it to someone, that's for sure. And if you're interested in picking up the game, uh, you can use my code XWINS at the link in the description down below and in the comment, the pinned comment at the top, uh, for 10% off, and that also massively helps uh, support the channel and that is indeed for a steam version of the game anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one yes i i, I expected the enemy to hit me <laughs> uh should we charge like a maniac over here it's not gonna quite kill him let's go for the rooter just just fun times with freaking hog smash banner punch Right into the foot of the elder, he just he doesn't he's immobile, doesn't even react.